Well, that's that. Thanks to Miss Trotter's evidence, the entire Hill Valley Police Force is out looking for Kid and his goons. You don't understand. We've got to find him now. He's captured a friend of mine. Who? Uh, never mind. Don't worry. We've got the entire town square sealed off. If Tannen's within a mile of here, we'll find him eventually. Uh, I don't think we have time for eventually. Hey, boy, how you doing? Good dog. Nice ride. Hey, Danny. Sorry, pal. Can't talk right now. I've got a report to write up for the chief. Parker must have confiscated this hooch from the speakeasy. Maybe not. This is no time for word games. The only thing I want to break this bottle on is one of those goons' heads. Not sure what that... There's only a few people, and maybe an animal or two, who'd be interested in Grandpa's smelly old pipe. But this isn't one of them. Ew. Irving Kid Tannen. Guess he dropped this on his way out. It's empty. Figures. Hey, Einie, get your nose over here. All right. I really don't think Tannen and Doc are with Herbert Hoover, Einie. Okay, okay, I'll check it out. A button. It's empty, so what's the point? All right, Doc, here I come. Corleone, what are you doing here? Uh, never mind. Come here and help me get rid of this stinking arsonist. Edna? I caught her planting dynamite while I was clearing out the soup kitchen. Guess Sagan was innocent after all. I was researching a story, you ignoramus! Tell it to St. Peter's sister. Hey, what's all this? Parker! Tannen, you're under arrest. Get him, Sacramento boy. I can't do that, kid. What? Oh, I get it. Why don't you let go of Miss Strickland and call it a night? Hey, look over there! Watch out! Give it up, Tannen. The alley's blocked off and so are the roads out of town. It's over. Over? Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. He's not about to let me in. Make it easy on yourself, Tannen. Tannen, watch your flashback, Tannen. Come and get it! Are you shooting at me? Are you shooting at... Take that, copper! Tannen! Make like a tree and die, rat! No 
one messes with Kid Tannen. Whoa! He's not about to let me in. Tannen's hooch is leaking all over the place. I'd better be careful with this stuff. If Doc can turn it into rocket fuel, who knows what'll happen if it gets into that dynamite. Come on. Bowling for ten. He's not about to let me in. Make it easy on yourself, Tannen. Tannins never make things easy. On this! Yo, Tannen! Make like a tree and die, rat! Hey, kid! Eat lead, phony! Hey, moron! More on this! Tannen, make like a tree and die, rat. Hey, had a girl. Go, Tannen, make like a tree and die, rat. No one messes with Kid Tannen. Come on, kid. Hey, kid! Ha! That ain't a real gun. Oh, right. I forgot. I better just get rid of it then. Oh, crap. <coughs> hey, he's getting away! Oh, no. Yes. No. There. Good as new. Oh, look, Tannen. The judge's son. All right, Parker. I want a getaway car and a clear road to Nevada, or the brown kid gets it. Doc. Marty. Doc? Yes, it's me. I'm talking to you through the radio apparatus my younger self has installed in the rocket car. What's going on up there? It's not good, Doc. Trixie and Parker did their part, but now Kid's holding you hostage. Right, Scott. No kidding. Try to get Kid in the car. Once he's inside, give me a signal, and I'll do the rest. How am I... You! Damn it! You're the cause of all of this, ain't you? Should've known. What kind of gangsters named Michael Corleone? <laughs> hey! Doc, hit it! Tannen, I'm placing you under arrest for kidnapping, attempted murder, tax evasion, and smelling like a piece of crap. Tax evasion? Haven't you heard? The feds are practically drooling over Trixie's books. Trixie? That's what you get for killing Artie, you bastard! What? I didn't... Trixie? Artie? All right, Grandpa. My poor car. I believe I owe you an apology, Mr. Brown. Thanks to your ridiculous contraption, Hill Valley's most notorious criminal is finally headed to prison. No apologies necessary, Miss Strickland. My rocket car may have accidentally saved the day, but only because it's a completely out-of-control failure. I need a new idea. If you're willing to listen, I might have a few suggestions. But first, I think we should take in a movie. All yours, Mr. Brown. I think you'll like it. 
It's all about a brilliant scientist with an overabundance of hubris. Whew. Come on, Einie. Let's go find Doc. Thanks for letting me fly the DeLorean, Doc. This thing's a blast. Are you absolutely sure that everything's back to normal? Totally. Kids going to jail, Emmett's going to see Frankenstein, and there's no such thing as a tanning crime family in 1986. And we remembered Einstein this time, too. Hill Valley crime rate at all time low. Hmm. Well, except for Grandpa necking with Trixie, I think we're ready to go back to 1986. Do you feel yourself fading out of existence? No. Then as long as your father's still born in seven years, I say, let your grandfather sow his oats. Sowing oats? Is that what's going on with you and Edna? What are you talking about? Emmett and Edna, they're gonna go see Frankenstein together. That's... odd.